You're listening to the Astromami newsletter read aloud version of my daily horoscope published on Substack. If you would like to read this, please click on the link in the description box below. Without further ado, here is the daily horoscope. Too much of a good thing? Moon in Gemini makes grand trine with Venus and Saturn, and then conjoins Mars squaring Neptune. Daily horoscope for Friday, October 14th, 2022. Welcome to the Astromami newsletter, a daily horoscope that hopes to shine a light in the dark, helping us all see where we've been, where we are, and where we're going. The Astromami newsletter is a reader-supported publication, meaning it only thrives thanks to the generous support of lovely people just like you. The two best ways you can support my work are to share this newsletter with a friend and to consider upgrading to a paid subscription. Whether you're a first-time reader or a long-time subscriber, thanks for being here. I truly appreciate you being in my community. I hope you enjoy today's horoscope and card reading. Blessings. Good morning, friends. So the weekend post tomorrow is a paid subscriber only newsletter. There is a seven day free trial for monthly or annual subscriptions. I don't want you to miss out. If you enjoy the weekend horoscope, make sure you upgrade to a free trial so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for subscribing and commenting. I really appreciate it. And please remember, if you'd like to book a reading, you can check out the services that I offer by clicking the book a reading link at the bottom of the newsletter, where you will be taken to my website with descriptions of each service. I am putting together a referral program. So if you have any suggestions about what would be awesome to receive as a referrer, please reply to this email and let me know. I really want to make the Astro Mommy experience super awesome and appreciate any help and ideas about how to do that. You can also send me a private email if you have any questions or need an alternate booking time for your reading to astromommyastrology at gmail.com. Also, make sure you follow the family Etsy shop, Metaphysical Flamingo, so that you are notified when we list new products. I am currently working hard on getting the Zodiac patches designed by my daughter, Caliandra the Piquarius, relisted. We had some issues with the embroidery process, but those are almost fixed and we should have all 12 patches available again very soon. Currently, Leo, Cancer, Taurus, and Virgo are all available. These will be going on sale during the holidays, so follow the shop so you are notified as soon as sales happen. Although, I will be announcing the deal here first so you're in the right place okay let's get into the astrology so today the moon is in gemini and is making some beneficial aspects before she ends the day conjunct mars and square neptune for most of the day she will be in trines first to saturn then venus and then to the sun venus and saturn perfected their trine at 2 20 a.m eastern time last night and the sun and saturn's trine was exact on tuesday but they are still within the three degree orb of engagement the sun is now applying to trine mars which will be exact on monday october 17th 2022 We have this trine energy, which is a positive, harmonious aspect from the sun to one malefic and then to the other, so this should bring out the more constructive sides of these malefic planets. Sun-Saturn is about taking on responsibility, making important and serious decisions, staying determined and devoted to your purpose, and it also can involve fathers and older, more experienced people in our lives sharing their wisdom and expertise. Now we are moving toward the Sun-Mars energy in a trine, which brings more energy, passion, drive, and desire to the pursuit of our purpose. It feels like we were given responsibility from Saturn, and now we have to physically execute it with the Mars energy. The Sun is also only two degrees away from an exact quincunx to Neptune, which will perfect over the weekend. So there could be the feeling like, in order to make our goals happen, we have to let go of some illusion we were believing or separate ourselves from toxic energy. The moon joining in on the grand trine scene will bring this energy closer to home. First, she will make a trine to Saturn, who just had a trine with Venus, right? So moon and Gemini trine Saturn in Aquarius can bring up serious thoughts about being careful, having foresight, and controlling our emotions in a way that makes us feel responsible and in control of our environment. We may want to get more organized, clean things up, or contact a father or mentor to stay on top of our domestic affairs. Once the moon makes her trine to Venus, the energy gets flavored with cheerfulness, affection, and happiness. People may feel good about their accomplishments and want to celebrate with some yummy tasty treat, a social experience, or even a relaxing game of Scrabble. And finally, the moon in Gemini makes a trine to the sun in Libra around 6 p.m. Eastern time, which just brings an overall good feeling about one's achievements for the day. The purpose has been fulfilled and things have run smoothly all day. People may feel harmony in their relationships and in tune with those around them. All in all, today looks like a nice, harmonious day with fun conversations, pleasant social interactions, and shared experiences. 
The energy shifts a bit late in the evening around 11 p.m. Eastern time to midnight when the moon conjoins Mars and squares Neptune. This could bring some disharmony, some strife, a tendency for arguments or irritability. Maybe people get tired and grumpy. Kind of reminds me of when you go somewhere and you're having such an awesome time and you end up smiling and talking all day. And by the end of the day, your face actually hurts from too much smiling and your voice is a little scratchy from too much talking. So it's like even though you had a great time and it was pleasant, there's this other side to it and you have to massage your cheeks and drink some soothing tea and retreat from all the activity in order to recuperate. As Alan Jackson sings, And too much of a good thing is a good thing. And we've got a good thing going on. I think we may be feeling like that. <laughs> Moon Neptune can bring up feelings of disappointment, instability, and lack of emotional security. It also could signify a secret love affair, sadness about a woman, or feeling separated from one's mother. So by the end of the night, people could feel a little drained and tapped out and just tired from a good day. It kind of reminds me of like a kid when you take them somewhere to like a fair or something like that and you have such a good time but then by the end of the day they throw like this massive tantrum when you're trying to leave or get in the car or whatever and it's just because they are like super tired and cranky and they're just having like a meltdown little side note from the newsletter (laughs) let's pick a card for the day what is the guidance for today ten of pentacles reversed On this card, we see a man, woman, and child in the background. And in the foreground, there is an elderly man, probably grandpa, petting his dogs who look really happy and healthy. They are all gathering in their family home. In the upright position, this card is all about getting everything you ever wanted. The relationship, the family, the house, the career, prestige, etc. Carrying the torch from past generations and passing on your legacy to future generations. In the reverse position, I feel it is about being grateful for what you've got. This fits the energy so well today with all the trines that the moon is making and then finishing the evening with the conjunction to Mars and a square to Neptune. It's like being upset about how awesome the day was or something. Like people taking what fortune and harmony they have in their lives for granted. So don't. Don't take it for granted. Appreciate and practice gratitude and thankfulness today. By coming from that heart space, the making of beautiful music, loving experiences, or inspiring dreams could be the punctuation to the day instead of exhaustion and disappointment. Friday nights in my house are game and movie nights, and we all make an effort to have a good time playing and hanging out together. It helps us unwind and relax from a tiring week. What do you do on Fridays? I would love to know in the comments, and as always, let me know if today's horoscope and card reading resonate with you. It is so fun hearing about what is going on in your lives. I hope this is helpful. Until tomorrow, Astro Mommy. Today's horoscope was brought to you by the moon making grand trine with Venus and Saturn, the moon trine to Sun conjunct Mars and square Neptune, the Sun's trine to Saturn and then Mars. Quick links and resources can be found at the bottom of the newsletter. Too Much of a Good Thing, song by Alan Jackson, lyrics are down there as well. Today's card was pulled from the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot, available on Amazon. If you purchase anything through the affiliate links that I provide in the newsletters, I will make a small commission, but there are no additional costs to you. I don't share or recommend things that I don't 100% believe in and use myself. Thanks for listening.